वेलकम बैक माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज रोल ऑफ माइक्रोबस एज बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट्स और बायोपेसाइड्स देर आर मनी वेज ऑफ डिफाइनिंग बायोपेसाइड्स द फर्स्ट वन इज इट इज़ अ नेचुरल मेथड ऑफ पेस्ट एंड पैथोजन कंट्रोल इन्वॉल्विंग द यूज ऑफ माइक्रोब्स लाइक वायरस बैक्टीरिया एंड अदर इंसेक्ट्स विच एक्ट एज नेचुरल प्रिडेटर्स एंड पेस्ट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट्स दैट डिस्ट्रॉय आवर क्रॉप्स द सेकेंड वन इज इट इज़ अ यूज ऑफ बॉलॉजिकल एजेंट्स टू सप्रेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ वीड्स हार्मुल इंसेक्ट्स फंजे विच कॉज डेमेज टू अवर क्रॉप्स अंदर वे ऑफ डिफाइनिंग बायोपेसाइड्स इज इट इज़ द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ यूज ऑफ केमिकल पेस्टाइड्स विच आर प्लोटिंग विच आर नॉट टारगेट स्पेसिफिक विद स्पेसिफिक नॉन प्लोटिंग बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट्स टू सप्रेस एंड किल द हार्मुल ऑर्गेनिजम इन आवर क्रॉप फील्ड्स एंड फाइनली Biopesticides are the biological agents which are used to control weeds, insects, and pathogens. And these biopesticides are of two broad categories: bioherbicides and bioinsecticides. First of all, bioherbicides. And before discussing bioherbicides, first of all, we will have a look on the drawbacks of using chemical herbicides. The chemical herbicides are weed sites are chemicals used to control growth of plants or weeds in. crop feeds okay but unfortunately these chemicals are non specific they affect the other plants i mean the crop plants as well okay and they cause pollution because of their non biodegradable nature and because of these uh, uh, reasons we wish to switch to the bio herbicides okay now what are bio herbicides those biological agents which are used to control weeds they are known as bio herbicides examples of some bio herbicides the extensive growth of apertia it can be controlled by the introduction of it is natural herbivore cochineal insect there is no need to use chemicals in a state what you have to do is if some crop field is being invaded by apertia you can simply introduce cochineal insect it will control the growth of apertia second one is dodder plant it grows as a parasite on other plants and it can be effectively controlled by colletrichum fungus and the third one is the growth of water hyacinth which is an aquatic plant it can be effectively controlled by cercospora uh, in usa it it has been effectively controlled by cercospora which is a fungus and in india it has been controlled by alternaria ecornia which is also a fungus okay and the fourth example is milkweed vine in citrus orchids uh it is being controlled effectively by phytophthora palmyra which is a fungus and finally the skeleton weed it can be effectively controlled it can be effectively removed uh from the crop fields by the use of paxinia which is a fungus the second category is bioinsecticides those biological agents which are used to control insects they are known as bioinsecticides now some important examples the ladybugs and praying mantis Uh, they have been found to successfully uh, control the insects and aphids which feed on the plant sap the second example is the butterfly caterpillars and other insects which damage our crops they can be effectively controlled by bacillus thuringiensis actually what happens is this bacillus thuringiensis it secretes a cry protein and once this butterfly caterpillar it it, it eats the insect the cry protein also gets into its stomach okay and this cry protein damages the epithelial cells of the butterfly caterpillar and causes its death the cotton sorry the cotton ball worms okay they are being uh, effectively controlled by baculoviruses baculoviruses are a group of viruses which are target specific they only affect uh, the cotton ball worms they do not affect the harmful sorry they do not affect the useful uh, insects and one more example is there the beetles with red and black markings which are known as ladybird beetles and dragon flies they are used uh, they are useful to control aphids and mosquitoes respectively you can use the ladybird beetles to control the aphids and the dragon flies to control mosquitoes respectively and uh, finally we can use tri trichoderma to control a wide range of plant diseases in our crop fields and besides the above biological agents the natural insecticides uh, that we obtain from microbes and plants okay 
besides the biological agents that we use in, use in our crop fields, the natural insecticides that we obtain from the microbes and plants, they are also used as biocontrol agents. Here we are not using the organisms as such, we are using the insecticides that we get from their bodies. For example, as a digestion, which is obtained from neem tree, it keeps away beetles and other pests. Okay, so you can extract as a digestion from the plant and you can use it as uh, a pesticide in our, in your crop fields. Rhodinones, which are obtained from the roots of plants like Deris elliptica, it also acts as an insecticide. Thuriocide, which is a toxin obtained from Bacillus thuringiensis, it is effective against moths, flies, beetles, and mosquitoes. And finally, pyrethrum, which is obtained from Chrysanthemum, which is known as Big Daisy, it acts as a natural and safe insecticide. You can use pyrethrum as an insecticide in your crop fields. This is all about uh, biopesticides. I hope you all understand this. Stay blessed and thank you.